से डरोगे तो कुछ बड़ा कैसे करोगे तो ड्यू उठा और हिम्मत का घूंट लगा माउंटेन ड्यू डर के आगे जीत है Tight in your seat, well, people. As we are back again with an, another day at Score College Gaming Club, powered by Acer Beverage Partner, Mountain Dew Cyber Security Partner, Casper Sky, along with Gaming Headset Partner, but none other than Sony. And yes, we are yet at another college, and one of the most amazing ones as well. As this one is going to be Aditya College of Arts and Science, and again. We've got a best of one match in front of us with two amazing teams who will be introduced to you by none other than one of the most brilliant in the field, Inferno. Inferno, my man, how are you doing? Thanks for the warm welcome, man. And we are back again, guys, as uh, he introduced us. Let's go and first of all, let's look at the prize pool. And yes, the prize pool is going to be massive as well. It's going to be none other than thousand rupees. And the splits you can see on your screen. First prize is going to be for 5000 second prize is going to be for 3000 third prize is going to be 1500 and the mvp is going to be taking 500 rupees in his hands that's going to be amazing but we got to be coming for the map vetoes as well let's see which map we'll be uh, we'll be showcasing and witnessing here uh, and i think hopefully it's not going to be ascent let's see but uh, and here we have the map veto and it's going to be split so it's your favorite map or not I really love to play split because I, I'm a viper main after all, so I just totally enjoy playing that split. Especially looking at the attacker side when we've got brutal five on the attackers and the defenders would mm. be blackout squad. So one of the solid squads coming in front of us. We'll be jumping into the game real quick, guys. So make sure that you hit that like button as well as click on that follow button so that you do not miss any kind of videos, any tournaments in the future. Let's have a quick look. at the lineup shall we to these amazing 10 players that we will be having in front of us so let's quickly have a look at the lineup mm -hmm. 
So here we go. This is going to be the player roster. And as of now, we have Blackout Squads and Brutal 5 on our screens. Both of the teams are amazing. But here we go. Let's just see how they're going to be coordinating in this map of split. As I know, I think this is a bit of attacking map. And the map has been also started. Here we go. We're going to be jumping into the match real soon, guys. And let's see what players are going to be taking and what is going to be the agent composition. Hmm, and again, since it is... You know, split. I really love to see the Viper coming in because after the breeze and ice works, I think so. Split is one of the map wherein everyone needs to have at least a Viper. But we are witnessing some comfort picks coming in from both the sides. We've got a Sage. As for the initiators, we've got the Gecko coming in. I really like that from Blackout Squad along with the double duelist composition with two of those solid duelists, Phoenix as well as a Yoru. And for the smokes, they've got that Omen. So we'll be seeing some amazing TP combinations with that mid smokes uh, along with some aggression from their side. I would really love to see that happening. While looking at the composition of Brutal 5, it's got the Brimstone. One of the most loved, you know, smokers in the game with Deadlock as their Sentinel. So the new Sentinel coming in, I, I like this adjustment, you know, not going in for those standard Killjoy type per se. Inside the block, Deadlock along with the and a Phoenix. As well as a kid, but still do this competition from their side. For the initiators, I think so they picked up Phoenix and uh, Reina pretty well because they got in total of four flashes to work. Absolutely, and here we I have attackers on the other hand. We can see they're going to be using three duelists. This is going to be a brave choice. I don't know how they're going to be initiating, but attacking is going to be really, really easy for them. But defending, they're going to mark. We're going to mark a question for them. Look, it's a really great sentinel, to be honest. But it's new into the map, new into the game. I think mm, deadlock is kind of complicated for right now for the players. Maybe it's going to be a great one for them. I don't know. But Jet, of course, this is, uh, we have the new patch notes and that's going to be having only one updraft, that's sad. That is true, I mean, uh, this, this is basically going to put uh, the rays back into the meta, right? Plus we have all the teams picking up the Yogi, even in those international competitions. So it is possible that we might possibly see Yoru coming back, uh, even in our rank games. We'll, Basically, be seeing those one trick Yoru's either just top fragging or uh, you know, kind of helping the team get back down. But nonetheless, uh, the Yoru that we have in the game definitely is going to show us some amazing TPs as well as those flashes and those combinations. I mean, you can never know where a Yoru is on the map if he actually knows how to play Yoru, you would not be able to catch him whatsoever. So, uh, we'd probably witness those, you know, good lineups coming in from their side as well. Even if we don't, we'll definitely see some amazing neck-to-neck -neck competition as well as, uh, you know, those duels that we always love to witness. We've got a yeah. little bit of a tech pause. Uh, it's going to be fixed real quick, guys. So, do not worry. We're just working it out. Yeah, being as a Neon Man, I'm really happy that Jet is going to get dead this time because i think uh playing as a neon if jet's having two of draft or any of draft he or she the player has so it's a kind of disadvantage for the neon means you know that ultimate and blade strong with the up draft it's nightmare for me although we're going to be witnessing the players i don't know where attackers are going to be going into first round and absolutely the first round is going to be making the whole momentum of the game but what do you think Euro is going to change the meta or race this time because I think Riot tried to balance the game, but it's a bit unbalanced as per my opinion. Hmm. I mean, that's one thing. Um, Jed getting just a single updraft would definitely mean that uh, she's going to go out of the meta because we have other duelists now who can do just a better job. Plus, I would really love to see. But Ray is getting picked up a lot. Now, we know that the Satchel is the only thing that can provide you the similar kind of result with a very good mobility. Plus, that showstopper can literally clear a lot of space. Plus, I think personally that Neon Careful. would also be making Here. back yeah. into the meta. Neon would be picked a lot more than she normally is being picked. So, I think so that's going to come into play as well. Because have the mobility plus whenever you are in that overdrive mode you can literally just run and gun on the corner we're gonna see the engagement coming in so we're gonna be in the meta and 
in the map and that's omen picking up the first pick that's a very good move coming in just stopping the attackers spike down a they did not check that corner and now the spike is down they have to look back but like they do not have omen. one enemy Again, remaining for the back so absolutely no idea and that <coughs> is a clear cut wrap up coming in pretty solid defending coming in from blackout squad Absolutely, the defenders will be taking the first round, and from here they could be having a really great momentum into the hands. I don't know how they could be initiating the next one. Maybe it's gonna be an easy round in the hands of defender for sure. But attackers, three duo this compositions, they have to do something, or else it's gonna be a one-sided map for sure. But as of now, you can see Jet be taking that Bucky dash with that Bucky, and that really clear slap into the faces. Indeed, that could be troublesome, but from now we'll we are seeing all the attackers clubbing up towards the A main yet again. Just look at the way that they are all creeping so very slowly. They totally understand that since they were Yoru in the opponent, we might jump towards those unexpected angles. So just making sure that they are clearing every single one of them and not giving them a chance to kind of force the issue because at the end of the day they're kind of on the that's going to the back right in the face Selva gets that headshot coming in so a stepping black hawk is well done he will take it down nonetheless Yuru still trying to survive get that flash and try to play in for the flash the bomb flash was actually pretty good and that's going to be omen taking down Jasuria. time to jump he just went in the way too deep, tried to clear that angle. Yes, Inferno. Uh, you're always looking deadly this time, you know? Those flashes, those TPs, and that decoy use is amazing. After 30 seconds left, the last players are going out. player that standing. coverage was amazing. But I think they got to be not taking this round. Again, this is going to be a 2 0 so like... It is highly possible the deadlock wall is going to come in to stop the aggression of the... It's just 10 more seconds remaining. It seems that 10 seconds Dilla left. I probably would want to go in for a save. Yoru also does not want to. Do it. Oh. Welcome and that's Spidey. Taking up the final pick. Rahul taken down at the end. The Spectre's gonna be upgraded. This the fourth round kinda helped them now get back in a solid economy. As we'll be seeing Jesu, they are going in for that Wandel. No, he's, he's gonna switch it back to the Bucky. He he loves playing that shorty right into their faces, I guess. <laughs> Switching it to the judge, that's even more deadlier, you know? But when, when there's a judge in the opponent, you know that the spam is definitely coming through. You just have to find a way to survive through that spam or probably get that lucky one tap onto the head. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, judge is a deadly gun, to be honest. From here, you can see Yuri is going to be taking the ultimate off and will be having a really sweet advantage. Rena trying to peek out there. He is not oh. able to spot the player over there. This is going to be troublesome for them, but I think the rotations are there and uh, whole attackers are going to be taking B main this time. Jet again, he is getting ready. The sound clue is over there. Out. Gotcha. Ooh, the spray comes down from Kurt Rice, stopping both Jet as well as Deadlock in their tracks. And the mid Spike control down, is mid. there, as even the mid will be forced down by the defenders. Blackout squad literally blacking out every part of Cutting the map, through. stopping uh, the I... five in their tracks. Yeah. One enemy My ultimate it's easy for them. My <laughs> Jeez, the run and gun was so very good. You know you can do the run and gun, especially when you have a spectre in hand. When you're up close yeah. and you're this personal right into their faces. So that's the third round converted. Blackout squad just playing it absolutely to perfection. I mean, can we just talk about that Gecko's spectre when EDS? spray? That was phenomenal. I mean, taking two of the players down there was amazing. From here, you can see again. I think attackers want to take A main first and time to jump. pause, maybe There's some critical yep. issues or technical issues. <laughs> oh, th just look at that that Oni mask now. The Yuru when he kind of wants to go into that dimensional drift. Just look at that. that seems like that Oni phantom mask or Oni vandal mask, like kind of similar thing. 
Yeah. Like to see these small details in the game, but yes, yeah, coming back to the same ADS play that you mentioned about the gecko going in for that spray down and Portal that lobby, that was actually pretty solid. He made sure that he's getting both of them out of the picture. And I, I know a lot of players don't actually use ADS, but sometimes it can actually help you out into getting that first bullet accuracy and the bullet spread in control that you're able to take those fights so very well. So. I think these players are also doing pretty solid job at that and yes, it's, it is a technical pause. They're having some headset, headset issue guys, but do not worry. We've got a solid headset partner, so we will be fixing that real quick. Just a couple of restarts and that's all that is needed. But um, talk to me, Inferno. How do you think that Brutal 5 can come back in this game? No, I think they have to do some strategy changes and they have to go in some passive mode or else it's gonna be really hard for them they have to pick the players off and make some good funneling for the team and then they can directly go in i mean rena phoenix and jet is amazing combination as duelist even though we have a great smoker so i don't think so it's going to be hard for them to make spaces but holding a site is going to be the real question agreed and again so very well mentioned because they have to play it slow but they are a triple duelist composition as well so you know, they are in the attack and they need these rounds. Otherwise, it's going to be so very troublesome for them in those defensive halves. They would have to be forced to aggress because that's mm. how uh, Duelist Composition plays. You know that the Duelist Compositions would play aggressively. They would try to fight for those spaces, fight for that control, the map control. So, uh, when you are in the attack, you need to take that space from your opponent and uh, that's what Duelists are extremely good at. But I would really like to commend Yoru in that regards because he is making sure that those pop flash plays are so very good that it kind of provides your own teammate that support, more or less like that double initiator comp as well. Working really good for them. Yeah, nevertheless, I can say that Yoru is actually supporting his team amazingly. Being as a duelist in defending and pushing and getting the picks, it's making them to easily win the rounds. That's why they are able to win three rounds, right? From here, I don't know what's yeah. going to be happening. It's a small tech pause and in this tech pause, they can talk about the strategic changes they can do so far. But of course, it's a fun match as well. They're here to do fun as well. So I don't know how they're going to be playing. It's all about fun and games and recreations sometimes and that's what these teams are having. They're having fun, they're enjoying their time and that's what you want to see. You know, you don't want to be serious all the time just being yeah. so head over heels directly into that every single moment of the match. Sometimes you just sit back, you enjoy, you just spray down through your radius and that's what we are seeing. Everyone just having their fun, enjoying their time and I mean all the people out there, you also need to enjoy those games. You need to... Uh, go out, exercise, and then work it out, get back in the game with full focus. Those small breaks are also necessary in your plays. And talking about breaks, you know, I finally decided to break my cycle of overeating and going <laughs> for the workout. And I am having so bad pain in my triceps. I just went in for the push-ups and went way overboard. So, uh, I can't, I cannot even fold my hand to 90 degrees. I'm not being able to play Valorant at all. And yes, it's all about last night. <laughs> it's fine, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a W decision you made, to be honest. Health as well. <laughs> Talking about W decision, we are going to see the W Gaming coming back in, guys. We are back in the game. The issue has been fixed up. Maybe not. We, we just saw 11-second cooldown on that time and now. We're stopping at 16 more seconds. Probably another tech pause, but we'll be fixing it way too quickly. But thank you so much for the words of support, Inferno. I need them. <laughs> because now I've got my, my ass work out today. It's going to kill me from inside. And I mean that literally. <laughs> so it's it's fun to see, you know, when, when one is working so hard. And then, of course, getting back in towards the game as well. These teams are working really hard to get that win, have that fun. And finally, we're going to be jumping back into the game as the round now begins. And the aggression seems to be going in towards that B site. Mm -hmm. And uh, from here, Yuri is using his Diamond Shield Rift Ultimate back to the spawn. He spotted the players. And I'm back. I don't know. They have the sound clue. Ooh. No, they don't. They don't. This is going to be real hard. And that flank is amazing, but he was taking the tap, and he spotted as well, and there you go. This is Yoru for you all. This is Yoru for you all. 
I can be at two places within an instant. That's what the Yoru is. And the information that he provided to his own team, mentioning that every single one of them is in B main, the B lobby. Look at the map control that they have. They've got the full control of A. Uh, they can leave it alone at the moment, and they also have the mid control. They have an idea that someone might show up there, but still, now since Yoru is again re-clearing that space, they know that every single one of them is probably in B main and. They're just holding it from way back towards the side. They are playing in for the retake. Might get an idea since the round has slowed down so very well that they might have left. rotated backwards. So, Euro is playing it so very smart, re-clearing every single part of the map and that space. Yeah, now. Uh, it's just 20 more seconds remaining. That is a pretty solid Molotov. And they will finally beat. fall to that spray down home and getting that pick. What a play coming in from Black Hawk. Selva, yep. ten they have left. only got 10 more seconds, they're just waiting for the dead of ball to go down, they cannot do anything else, and as now Yuri comes in for the straight out and gets up the head, picking them apart one after the other, that is going to be a pinch from mid as well as main, and another round going in from Black Ops squad. 4-0 is going to give the score and ladies and gentlemen, this is not looking good for the attackers this time. They gotta change something, they gotta do something, and uh, I believe in them they can. But from here, this is going to be really pretty hard for them because I, I really want to see the economy of that because they have pretty good weapons. And uh, I think Vandals are enough to kill the enemy. But I don't know. From the. You know, still. Yeah, <laughs> and look at the read from. Black Ops squad, they are all clubbed up towards the A side. They think everyone's towards the A and the read has not been right at all. They have to go in for that quick rotate. I think the Brutal 5 did have a window of getting the side, but unfortunately they still thought that maybe no one would be there and you're re clearing that angle in the mid. So there are just Cutting a couple through. of people at least towards the B main. Will send his DP back to safety. Spike going down. down again. Front of one enemy right. remaining. Third right has got his back, and Yoru again coming in from that pinch. It's only Jet remaining. Outstanding. Will he go in for oh. the spray down? Aries in hand, up close and personal. Takes the head of Kurt right. Knows the uh, area controlled by Yoru, trying to go in for that knife kill. He's getting a little too ahead of himself. Punished for that. Jet has got five more knives available in the form of the ultimate. But is it two? Thirty seconds left. One. He can try and isolate these fights. Phoenix is holding the spike, so IG Krishnan has to go and take this fight to him. But now giving Absolutely. the first stage is nowhere near to be found in Ferno. Ten you know, seconds left. As well. I don't think he's got time to plant. This is four more seconds. He has to go and play for pitch. And that is Sorry, Jet. In for survival, but Blackhawk will be the one to pick apart IG Krishnan. So that's another round for Blackhawk squad. 5 to 0. He did mention about the economy, but now it seems to be shaking. Great job indeed. And this is going to be a 5 0 score line. There was a single round into the hands of attackers, and from here you can understand and witness how the dominating defensive or defending they are Dying actually through. doing. And I, I, I don't think so. It's that they're even defending. They're just attacking. They're just rushing. Yeah. These are leased into the battleground. And from here again, the same detoy and the same strategy used for the first round. And I guess again, attackers are just waiting at spawn. And Omen has a whole lot of information about yes. it. Oh, that's another pop flash play. What a beautiful flash. But the spray down is not on yes. point. So it will survive. And that's going to be Selva coming so very up close and personal. 3 HP on Black Hawk still manages to take them down. As Omen is there for the support. Spike and down. again, the Attack cavalry is spawn. now here flashing himself. That was Get a out of my flash, way. but Omen with 3. Can we see one, one enemy that's... remaining? <laughs> <laughs> Typical fighting plays, getting that S for target! And Omen will achieve that! Gets all five of them with the support of his teammates. What a play coming in from Blackout Squad.
They just flashing all the options, all the sources of light for Brutal 5 and they seem to be in such a troublesome position. That was good ace though. Amazing indeed. job indeed. And uh, <laughs> do you think it's a comeback incoming? Uh, honestly, I, I think so there is. I think so there is because I love the way that Total 5 are trying to play these rounds. They know that Hero will definitely aggress towards their side. So they're just trying to play with numbers. It's just that their bullets are not connecting as of now. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that they've been warming up for the entire time and should be able to get those picks that they need, those fights that they need. Again, holding the B main. So... They still want to aggress towards that side, wherein Yoru again coming towards their back side. Look at that pin, please. To be ready this Spike time, but again, down B. Right. Shot coming oh, in. Oh my ready. goodness, Yoru with that spray take. Oh, oh, that Phoenix and Grim have no idea, and that's Yoru as well as Gekko again for that spray down. Pick them apart, time and time again. Mm -hmm. And the hardships never end. I think one sided this one. And I don't know how they're gonna be making this one, but for sure, there is going to happen something maybe for them. But amazing plays coming up from the side of Yuru. It's amazing to see Yuru players pulling up, uh, pulling things apart and ripping their opponents apart. From here, I don't know how they're gonna be making the comeback again, hitting the same this. line. But maybe in this nine three curse. Do you believe in that? I do man, like it has happened so many times with Fawn of it seems like I've been seeing the Yoru oh, ultimate so many times using the dimensional rift only to TP back to do the mid controlled by his own teammates as now they've got the entire information. They know that the hit is Careful nowhere enough. near towards either the A side or the B side of everyone. They're just holding their space. Phoenix is trying to get over heal. Over his own Molotov, just having fun again. That's what I mentioned. They're all here for having fun. And Jesuria should have got the rope sound cue. Maybe not Blackhawk. Uh, he should be getting behind him. Jesuria has found. He is seen where Blackhawk is. Should convey the message to his team that they've aggressed towards the aim. And maybe towards the B side for that hit. Or not? They're going to fight for the mid control towards heaven. Oh, so good, Rice. He did not claim that space. Ajay Krishna punishes him for that. Aries in hand, dashes forward Spike over down, behind B. him. 30 seconds left. The re clear, the re aggress. <laughs> Back. No being chance. held in for their own team. Head of head is being there. taken down for Selva. That's Jesuria being picked apart. He had a chance to shut Phoenix down. Did not take that. Sight has been taken by Deadlock, but at what cost? Four of his teammates left. have fallen. Just nine more seconds in the bag. To take them down, Spike nowhere in hand. He's just trying to find someone to finish them off. But little do we know that it's more or less like the Akshay Kumar meme where the spawns have been flipped. Deadlock in the attacker side while the defenders. Uh, Deadlock in the defender side while the attackers in the def uh, defenders area. Jeez, man, that's so very confusing. Please ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> happens, man. But from here, you can see. I, I, I think like. What? Well, okay, okay. First of all, you guess the scoreline. Ah. Uh, eleven one. Eleven one. Okay. I, I strongly believe that this is going to be a nine three one for sure. I don't know. Time to chill. I mean, that's what I think is going to happen, just because of the way that. Lago squad are, you know, typically playing and Orbital Strike being used preemptively to try and take control of the mid. Just trying to get the attention of Black Ops squad towards that side. Brutal 5, they need to go in for some <coughs> executes now. Finally, we are seeing them in towards that side. Maybe they're gonna get the plan down in as they have control of all the space. They still probably no their position. Maybe not as Omen goes in for the spray. Was not able to get those bullets connected. But Seeker Dead. should have made the contact, has no idea Yoru finishes him off from the tower. They haven't planted the spikes, they're just going in for those brutal fight downs as Omen takes two of them. Is this deadlock and check remaining? Omen wants to get the third. Oh. One enemy remaining. Has to go for the sprint. No. We'll probably get the bullets connected, maybe not as the 
classic headshot is there and Omen finishes all of them without taking even a single bullet damage. Oh, that's great. That's great, like 9-0 scoreline, it's amazing and pretty one-sided match we are just witnessing over here. I really feel like they're gonna be taking these three rounds. A magic maybe, I don't know. But really, it's a good matchup though. And the team is playing pretty coordinative. And I think the composition they have with Yoru, Gecko, a perfect initiator, I think as per... It's a small match. And from here again the same oh two of the players three of the players are still waiting to spawn a troublesome location. Absolutely. I mean they again I, I really love the idea of Brutal Fight. They the know that begins. Black Ops Squad is being aggressive time and time again. So they're just waiting and Fate letting teleport. them take that space only I'll to return. re clear that to punish them out. But I'm just not seeing that punish coming in. That is not up. We don't have any more ultimates coming in. That's gonna be the molly right into their faces. The self up it's apart. Yoru. Finally, they have picked them out. They've had the number advantage. But again, just Surya taken down. Finally, getting numbers back. We're finally seeing the spike being planted after nine rounds, but again, that's gaming taking them out one after the other. And third round is able to take this one down. Rahul Chaudhary still there. It's down to a one v two, and Silva is nowhere near the spike to HP, and he cannot stop this defuse whatsoever. That's going to be the tenth round Keep going in for oh. Blackout Squad yet again. No nine three. Maybe 11 1. <laughs> maybe 11 1. Maybe, maybe not. Let's just see. But uh, it was. Uh, I don't know what Phoenix was trying to do over there. But pretty good one. Like finally, after nine rounds, they initiated the plan. And early, maybe 11 1. Or else a 12 0. <laughs> I mean, 12-0 would be the ideal situation for Blackout Squad again because they would then need to take only the pistol when they would be in the attacking half. And the triple duel is from definitely not working out for them. Uh, they do have a sentinel deadlock in their hand, but they're not being able to stop that backstab time and time again. And this time, we're seeing that the thrash is ready. Yet. Right, oh my goodness! Jesuria has definitely got the right lead as he goes in for the judge. Spray down takes three of them. They, did not, they, they only lose a single member. Yep. <laughs> and this is going to be 11, but I don't know. Possibilities are high this time. But Jekko's having his ultimate it's going to be troublesome for them and going to be problematic as well. But. Deadlock's ultimate is amazing. They're gonna reel them them easily. Rahul was able to get Blackhawk out. Now it's just on the third right. He needs to get all the three of them in hand and spray. Jesuria gets the one round for their side. Woohoo! 11 1 probably. Last round but we've still got 10 2 possibility up. Maybe, maybe not. But I, I think like from here, they will be learning from what they have done last time. I think that aim and aggressive push was pretty... Senseless maybe, but I don't know. Let's just see. What do you think? Safety's uh, 11 1 or a 10 2? I think 11 both 1. The, both, both, both the possibilities are there, but again, I guess 11 1, so I'm gonna stick to that as. We're gonna see the aggress coming in from both the angles. Look at that, Yoru just up close and first in front of five people as he's got the third dimensional drift. Back in Spike his hand, he's down the one who caused a lot of trouble to them in the previous round. I think this is also taking down. Judge in hand again. So there's two there. He wants to go and close. Take one of them, takes two of them down. He's going to tell me he gets a third after the reach. The reload will be taken down by Blackhawk as Yoru takes Selva's argument down. He gets back in the play. Take Yoru out. Rage in front will be taking him down. And Spike is in their hand as Harsh now controls the area. Holy smokes, what a bloodbath! 
man, this is going to be a 1v1 scenario. I don't know who's gonna be winning this one, but for surely, this is going to be intense for sure. They have to go and take the spike and initiate it. He's just spawning out there. He's just running. I'm spotting the player and I gained it, RNG. And this is going to be a 10 2. Not yours, not mine. A 10 2. Let's go. Switching sides. Finally, they've got the last two rounds and they've got some kind of lifeline in their hand. And again, it all starts with a pistol round. We know they need to secure this pistol to get that snowball back in. They do have a chance now. They've got the momentum. They've broken the chain of rounds. They've broken the chain of streaks. And uh, who knows? Maybe they'd be able to do much better job in the defense. Triple duelist, yes, not very solid. But Deadlock can hold one side while those two of those duelists can aggress from one area. Pistol down again. It's going to tell us a lot. No and charges left. Have the momentum in the starting of the game. Uh, let's see. I'm really excited to witness the game this time. And I guess they are just directly rushing into the site. And they're having a control very, very easily. Started and initiated in the plant. That shorty coming up. And that was brutal. Healing himself. Oh, what a cute move. Indeed, and again, it's a beautiful and being taken down. They need to get this round as Omen goes in for the straight on Rahul Chaudhary picked off. They planted the spike, they all have to play for the time. 3v4 retake seems to be problematic as Blackhawk will be just clearing the heaven space. They're all moving together. They need to take Gecko down. He's only a lone man on site. Ah, uh, that's gonna be Blackhawk taking Haji Krishnan again. There's no way for them to re-clear that space and enter for defense. Yeah. And it's 11 to 2 round, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, 11 to 2 is going to be the scoreline and first round indeed in the hands of attackers. And there you go. From here, they will be having a really great momentum of specters until unless the defenders are not going to force hmm it is possible that they can force because again if they do not force in this round that would mean that they're kind of giving them the round number 12 on a uh, silver platter so i think so we're gonna see some contest coming in they have gone for those buys the shouldering the spawn area yet again will be going towards that A side. Their read is absolutely perfect. They have an idea that the hit is coming towards the A side, but Black Hawk backstabs everything. The detrimental hit is not a good one. They got the two of them out of the picture already, directly up to the first one. The direction of the woman again takes all of them one after the other, and it's a flawless from Black Hawk's match point. Ah, uh, a flawless and from here I think this is ended because they don't have a good economy as you can see once the players is having 4,000 credits that's amazing but all of the other suddenly they don't have good economy from here and I think this is going to be a blackout scenario for them and I think we have the winners soon ah uh, how would they be able to come back in this one that is going to be the question as again the hit is going towards the a side but uh, the spike is committed towards the b and that is exactly where brutal five are going they're all moving together in in five of five i mean you know there's strength in, in numbers but that's just way too many numbers coming in as blackhawk and euro again taking them down one after the other euro is just holding yeah. this form Location as everyone else is flying towards the mid side as they take one more person down. It's just not a good that they don't stay the game for their team as Rao goes in for the spray. Will not be able to connect them as Selva would be taken down by Yoru and that's a 13 2. And a game coming in for Blackout Squad. What a dominating victory coming in for their side. And it was such an amazing game from them. So very aggressive, controlling every single part of the map. And gaming Foza. 27 and 3? I want that ACS for myself, man. That's insane. That's insane for sure. And what an astonishing performance coming up. And there you guys.
there you guys have the winners and they played amazing what an amazing matchup it was well tried guys but i think 32 was a close match not not a close matchup on my, my bad but it was pretty one sided match indeed and mvp of the game as gaming souza so he'll be grabbing that cash prize for the mvp as well and the first place prize is going to go for blackout squad amazing game coming in let's quickly have a look at the victory screen as the winners of this game would be team blackout squad there we go the boys in blue brutal fight right the best but nonetheless we're just a little too away from the win a crushing defeat for them but a learning lesson as they would definitely be learning a lot of things from this and would be coming back stronger than ever that is something that i totally believe in for now sure so i mean it's it's a like it's it's all about the coordination the strategy and i think they were lacking somewhere and for sure yeah. they will be improving their coordination and strategic wise they're going to be playing amazing from the next matches for sure but it was an amazing matchup it was an amazing teamwork showcased up and i guess the composition at split was amazing as well but till then ladies and gentlemen if you didn't hit that like and subscribe so what are you guys are waiting for just go and hit that like and subscribe absolutely click on that so very quickly just to be aware and Acknowledge about all the future matches that we would be having and it has been a pleasure casting with you and being on desk with you Inferno That was really fun and I had a lot of fun again Just looking at the same people out there as well They knew that they had to just enjoy the game and that is exactly what they were doing now This has been me scared yet with my co-caster Inferno We'll be catching you guys with the next tournament with the next match until then stay tuned and have a great day guys. Bye. Bye सबका सुखता है पर डर से डरोगे तो कुछ बड़ा कैसे करोगे तो ड्यू उठा और हिम्मत का घूंट लगा एयरक्राफ्ट टू इनकमिंग वी हैव हिट एन एयर पॉकेट Mountain Dew, dar ke aage, jeet hai.